Hello everyone, Grandma here. I'm sharing with you this housekeeper's chat that was broadcasted on the radio Monday, January 2nd, 1933. Subject, Winter Diets. Information from the Bureau of Home Economics, USDA. Happy New Year, everyone. Best wishes for your health and happiness all through this year, 1933. Instead of just wishing you good health today, I'm going to pass on to you the specialist advice on how to have it. Salves and plaster, medicines and tonics, pills and remedies, early morning doses of sulfur and molasses to help that tired feeling. You know how the winter goes in some homes, but I know a more effective way to health, a much pleasanter and less expensive prescription. If you ask me, I suggest a well-balanced diet plus good health habits instead of dosing and doctoring. Of all the ways to economize, none is more worthwhile than saving that valuable asset, health. But you don't have to depend on medicines and remedies all winter long to keep yourself and your family well. Right food and right living cost less and pay bigger dividends. Of course, wise people watch their diets the year around, but in cold weather, this is especially important. Why? First, because winter ills are abroad and you need good health and good resistance to avoid them. Second, because so many foods are expensive or hard to get at this season that they're likely to have a one-sided diet or to get along on the foods that are handy and cheap. Third, because the colder the north wind blows, the more you need the right fuel to keep your body warm and in good working order. You and I have often talked about the protective foods, and we've often mentioned the need of having variety in diet. Well, at this time of year, in many parts of the country, many of these protective foods are out of season and therefore are more expensive. So it's the protective foods, particularly vegetables and fruits, that are likely to appear on the table too seldom in winter. Green leafy vegetables with their vitamins, their calcium, iron, and other mineral salts are just as necessary when they're out of season and it's summer when the gardens are growing. The trouble is that the out of season foods cost more generally, but the housewife must find their way of supplying, if not these foods, then the equivalent in these food value all year round and at all levels of cost. I've praised the lowly cabbage for its many virtues before, but when we're considering cost, it deserves some extra praise. Cabbage is one of the cheapest of all vegetables, but it's a treasure just the same. It's easy to keep in winter. You could store it in your vegetable cellar, and it ranks near the top of the list for its protective values. In mild climate, Turnip tops and collars also are cheap and plentiful most of the year, and spinach is cheap in some localities. Then potatoes and sweet potatoes are high in protective value. Irish potatoes rank high for their vitamin C and sweet potatoes for vitamin A and C. Turnips and carrots are also protective foods. Yellow turnips and carrots are especially rich in vitamin A. Dried beans and peas are valuable for protein, as well as for their minerals and vitamins. The tomato is another vegetable that serves high praise. Tomatoes, either canned or fresh, 
are so high in vitamin content that they rank with cabbage and other green foods as protective foods. And can you imagine anything easier to serve than tomato juice as a cocktail? In the large cans now on the market, the juice costs a little more than canned tomatoes. Although tomatoes are classed as a vegetable, they are really fruit. And you can use them for the same purpose whenever fruits are lacking. The vitamin value of tomatoes is about the same as that of oranges and grapefruits. As for the protective fruits, of course you know what a rich source of vitamins, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, and lemons are. The dried fruits, though they have lost much of their vitamin content, are still very good sources of minerals. Raisins, prunes, and dried apricots are especially high in iron. Among the cheaper canned fruits, peaches and pineapples have much of the food value of the fresh fruit. Well, then, to sum it all up, one good way to give yourself good health and happiness is to eat vegetables and fruits as regularly in winter as in summer during this new year. The specialists say that the thinner the family purse, the more careful you must be not to have a one-sided diet. Meals that are too heavy with bread, cereal, fats, and sweets, and that lack the necessary vegetables and fruits. Here's the economy menu for today. Please notice the protective foods in it. Salmon and potato cakes, buttered peas, mixed raw vegetables, salad made of shredded lettuce, grated carrots, shredded cabbage, and chopped green pepper, baked apple for dessert. The recipe for salmon cakes is a new one, low cost and easy. It will make 12 three inch cakes. Here are the ingredients. One pound can of salmon, one quart of seasoned mashed potatoes, and fat for frying. Remove the skin and bones from the salmon and flake into very small pieces. To the hot seasoned potatoes, add the salmon, a little pepper, and more salt if needed. Beat until well blended, form into cakes, and brown on both sides in the fat. Serve at once. Or if you wish, use less salmon to the mashed potatoes and make your pound can of salmon serve you two meals instead of one. 